They're off. Balloon number one, Silver Town, the first two to show from in third place. Supremely lucky is up along the inside of Famous Response as they jump the first. Hello, being in there, done that follow. Then Castle Grange followed over the first fence by Silver by Silver Town, heading out towards the second. It's a low go four. And overworked under pain. Those two now moving on as they go towards the second. There's a no no more on the inside of Overworld under pay, Cello D, famous response, Castle Crane on the outside, and supremely lucky. I've uh, been there, done that silver town, and then uh, off the face, Wild Romance and the Netty, and they're over the second, a no no more, Cello D, and Overworld under pay, going out towards the ditch. Right, the hair raised the police there from a no no more, the leader, but they're all over the ditch, and the no no more going towards the top of the hill. On the inside of the world, under pay, the great salary is next, chased by Castle Grave. Been there, done that, supremely lucky, famous response, Silver Town, Wild Romance, and the Nettie. A no no more jumps the fourth fence, very careful jump there from Silver Town in second last position. Going on towards the next fence, which is fence number five, a no no more salary, no world under pay is close up in third. Followed by been there, done that. Castle Grange was supremely lucky. They go behind uh, the buildings, they head now towards the fence down the side. A low no more leader by just over a length to Celebi. Going on towards the fence down the side. The two behind those two is overworked, underpaid. As they make the approach, gap in a several lengths to be there, done that, supremely lucky. Followed by Castle Grange, famous response and wild romance. Are in the rear division as they approach this fence on the side. Silver Town, second last on the net, is the back marker. And Elvis is a low go ball and Stella B. Those two showing the way as they make the run up the hill. In third place is Overworld under pain. Race down about three lengths or two. Be there, done that. Got the blue yellow jacket on the inside. Oh, supremely lucky. A break of five lengths to Castle Grange, famous response, wild robust. And Silver Town and the Netty is the back marker. Turning in, approaching the seventh fence as they head towards the turn for straight to Low No More. They're raising several horse wings on the inside with the grey cellar B alongside and then over to the face of the black white jacket for the inner. Supremely lucky of being there, so that closing in on the leading two, trying to beat the back fence. and Castle Grange has been pulled up with a circuit to go. So going on towards the first fence on the final circuit, and as they go to it, you can see 10 fence in total, and the leader is Celebi. Celebi over it, in front by around about four or five lengths of the really string out. Second place is overworked under pay, then been there, done that, the low no more has dropped in behind them in force, supremely lucky is following those. They're being chased up by wild romance going on towards the second fence in this line as they go on up the hill. Manetti's on the outside of wild romance. The last couple are Silver Town and a famous response to take there from supremely lucky. So they're now making the run to the open ditch. Stella the leader. Stella over. Takes the white course over the open ditch. Followed in second place by Overworld under the pain. Then been there, done that. In third, a low no more is running in fourth place. Manetti is completely lucky and running in unison, followed by Wild Romance, Silver Town, and Famous Response. They've got six to jump, and Celebi is still leading. And really, they are screaming out now. Celebi really turning on the screw. Followed by Overworld and the Pain. Getting 
Captain and five lengths to be there, Doug Knapp, then Alonso Moore, Bella D, Joe Colas, and Joe on the far side. Back in fifth is Renette, who seems to be the lucky, being followed by Wild Room and Clear Silver Sound, and Mavis Response. They go behind the building, Paul is young, and Bella D being closed in by Overworld Thunder Bay as they make the run down towards uh, the next obstacle, Overworld Thunder Bay, up on the inside, Paul is young. Creeps on by half a length to Stella D. Then as a gap opening up to be there, don't have to learn no more. As they go towards four out, there's overwork done to pay the leader now. Stella D drops to second, overwork done to pay by about a couple of lengths with him away from that thing. Second place is held by Celebi, then then Dunlap is steadily closing, then alone no more than Nessie, while Roman supremely lucky clear of fame is a spot and silver town. So Overworld goes to play and George Shanton head towards the final gate, over half a mile left to go, three fences left to jump. Overworld and the pay trying to cling on to the advantage, but then he's making ground down the outside as they approach the turn, and now they swing in. Celebi has done enough and pulled up, going towards three hands, also pulling up the Silver Town. It's Overworld and the pay, been there, done that, closing in. While Roland is staying on a little more, trying to rally. Manetti now with the pressure, supremely lucky and weakened, making the run down towards the second mark. Overworld and the pay, the Junior, Joe Nap, in there, Joe Nap, and possibly jumps to the front from Overworld. Don't rule out wild romance is staying on the pressure, making the run down towards the last in there, jump that, but he's down in front with a two late lead. Wild romance is the one giving chase. Been there, jump that from wild romance who is closing as the line moves up. It's been there, jump that wild romance. Close, been there, jump that wild romance. And those two are clear of the third. Overworld's under pay, and then it's all alone down for.